Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to I Am Alive. And today I'm going to be continuing this off from the part where I kind of killed about maybe, what was it? There was three total guys before, no the one I kicked out, the one I kicked into the chasm I killed. That was just preferable. But anyway, from the last time I killed about, I think seven, six maybe. Because two other guys bashed through the other area. Grandma's sitting like right there. I don't know, wait, is this the right area? Probably. So I'm going to try to get through this. I need to find a medkit badly. I need to find something that will bring up my stamina. Or something that will bring up my health. Because positively, I can't survive with this just half, well not even half, but I think it's 30% health, I believe. This game is not really clear on how it works on health. Soda can. That works out. I mean, if the only thing you wanted was energy, then let it be that. Let it be energy. I'm surprised energy drinks don't exist in this game. It's just soda pop. Or, <gasps> excuse me. It's either soda pop or just something different. But who knows. Alright, moving on with the game. I wish I could help you guys. I just, I don't have a med pack because I have no idea. Actually, the med pack's all the way over here. I think it's over here. Or I picked it up before. I don't know where I found it. Probably missed it. Anyway, moving on with the game. It makes me wonder about, you know, post-apocalyptic games or after-apocalypse or possibly after the world kind of ends and it just goes in a destructive state. It makes me wonder if, like, video games can actually tell what's going to happen in the future. I mean, I was watching this one video on YouTube where it explained how video games can predict what's going to go on in the future. Like, um, one of the most popular games or popular into the gaming franchise would be Call of Duty or the Call of Duty series. And the one more that it tells that's going to be in the future is more so Black Ops, or no, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, and, no, Ghost, and Advanced Warfare, where it tells it's probably going to be in the future where everything's going to be destroyed. And there were other games it was talking about, but I don't know what other games it is. But more or so, it's saying that, you know, zombies might happen, which, you know, I'm not kind of critical, nor am I going to be a critic about it. But in reason to it, why would you turn around and look at them? You have more important matters to deal with. I have to get to the apartment without being shot by Grandma. Yeah, again, 15 minutes of this game is just hectic. There is an old lady who stands right over here. I think there's something over here. No, nothing. Damn. I believe there is an old lady who stands over here. Yeah, there she is. I can't get too close to her. And this game gets kind of ridiculous on how, you know, how you can strike them. I really don't mean any harm. I'm not even trying to hurt you. I'm just kind of trying to survive on my own. Map updated. Alright. Let's move on with this a little bit. Can't go up there. But yeah, as I was saying, you know, I was watching this YouTube video and it explained how, what the future's gonna look like, or how even things are gonna go into a catastrophic event. And even with that, I tend to wonder if, you know, video games are actually telling the truth, or if they're just made in process. But then again, I can't really say anything for myself. Hold on, guys, I'm gonna... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Everything's up. I'm gonna turn the sound effects and the music down to about 75 and leave the voices up there. Now, this might be one huge cutscene that's coming up in a bit. Damn, still can't hear him. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen, I will fix this. 50 should at least do it from both. I'm terribly sorry if there's something that you want to hear in this game. Julie, are you 
you there? So sad. So sad. But yeah, they say like zombies are gonna happen. Post-apocalyptic is gonna happen. People are still gonna be alive after the apocalypse. And it's, it's a whole thing about it. You should look up the YouTube video, ladies and gentlemen. If you really wanted to see it, you know, go see it now. Um, also, I want to say, if you know you haven't played this game, then you shouldn't probably be sitting here watching it. We have to go now because of the earthquakes. The evacuation team is waiting for us. We'll be taken to one of the emergency shelters. It's very hard to get precise information about the evacuation plan. I have no idea where we'll be in the next hour. If only you were here. I would tell you that I forgive you. For everything. For now, all we can do is pray that you're alive. And if you are, I know you'll come back here. We'll try to stay in Hamilton, but we'll go wherever's safest. With Mary, I can't take any risks. We love you. Not a moment goes by that we're not thinking about you. Try to find us. We will wait for you. Julia Mary, May 23rd. I am alive. Exactly as the game said in the beginning on the main title and the screen and whatnot. That's almost a year ago. That is almost a year ago. Up oh, camera. Where's the popcorn when you really need it? Are you gonna record the picture frame? Pretty much the end of the world. This year was so long already. While I walked back, I was thinking I was just hoping to find you standing here. How could I? Oh shit, earthquake, all right. Let's go pick whatever that is up. I think it's a med kit. Or pick up fruit cocktail. All right, I picked up a fruit cocktail. Why can't I search things? It would have been so much more better if they added that as a feature in this game where you can just search things. But then again, you know, it's a indie game. They say that this is an indie horror game or indie survival game. There's a little girl over here. Oh hey. Either. Mary. No. No. <laughs> well, shit. This little girl is fucking remarkable. I don't. Oh, she crawls underneath it. Oh, I see now how she got. On... Oh, okay. Yeah, me and Lerta, considering that you know me and her were beside, side to side playing this game, or I was playing it. And we wondered, you know, did she climb over it? Because that's remarkable. No, she went through a little hole in the gate. In a chain link fence. And for some time, we've been wondering that throughout the game. Because, you know, I didn't notice it. Or before a time, we didn't notice it. And I thought, damn, that girl is incredibly agile. That she can get over it. And I'm just like, how do you process that? How do you do that? Considering that you're such at a small, like, just not small, but have a little body to atone for that. But again, now I just found out that, you know, she crawls underneath into a hole. Get up there. For a time I've been wondering, if she's like, wow, she climbed over it? That's remarkable. Anyway, guys, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end it here. I will see you in the next video. Midnight Shadow out.